Hello, everybody. I would like to welcome you to today's talk with the brother Malik Experience. This is the brother Malik Experience here. And we are, uh, today's March 4th, 2017. And we're going to, we're going to definitely uh, touch on some things and, and really get in depth with some different perspectives as we begin to, to, to further on and, and, and further the experience. And, uh, you know, and I would first like to uh, uh, preface today's talk with, with uh, you know, we're, we're doing this and we're putting these programs together so that uh, we, could, we can reach people. And so we want we want, we want to thank uh, Tracy and Malik's Bus Company, uh, Cheese Bus Inc., the Laugh and Learn Place, um, you know, for, for, for funding these projects that we're gonna, going to be doing and, and, and furthering the cause of, of the community and really, really reaching out in depth so that we can change lives. We had a, uh, we had a great uh, meeting this morning where we touched on some, some wonderful topics and and I think one of the most growing concerns that I have now is uh, the state of delusional thinking. And we and we really are not to get too political, but we're living in a day and time uh, where we have we we have a president who is uh, who is a delusional thinker. Um, and, you know, he's suffering from, uh, you know, President Donald J. Trump is suffering from what. What a lot of people are suffering from. A lot of people is suffering from delusional thinking. And delusional thinking stems from uh, from two things. Uh, it stems from I, our ideas and concepts about life. How we perceive the world, how we perceive our environment, how we perceive the people in our environment. And a lot of it is based on our prior experience, our prior experience shapes how we see present day mo uh, present day events in the moment. But see, the thing is, it's not good to rely on our prior experience in its totality, even though it has some excellent value. But our prior experience is sometimes skewed in our lack of experience as we were going through those experiences. I can't totally rely on my prior experience and because as I was going through them, I wasn't always in the right frame of mind. So how the information came in, it also help me reach conclusions that weren't totally true and this is where the problem lies the problem also lies in uh in in, in the fact that i've reached a conclusion i've come to a conclusion, let's just say if you're 13, you come to a conclusion about something with a 13-year-old mind. Now at 35, I'm basing a present moment experience I have with some of those 13-year-old conclusions that I came up with. I want you to I want you to really follow me here. I want you to really, really really follow me here because this is going to this is going to get really 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 powerful and so i gotta i have to watch out and be careful that i don't allow the years and years of of experiences that i have to corrupt 
this new experience that's taking place and how I view something. Because I really have to, I got to go to God. I got to get still. I got to be spiritually fit. And I have to try to operate on a clear, on a clear s- sleep as much as I possibly can so that I can see things clearly. Because my ideas and concepts are going to do two things. They're going to uh, the my ideas and concepts are going to, in my mind are going to trigger a feeling inside me. It's going to trigger some emotion, and that emotion is going to is going to further go down and tap into issues that are already there and then those uh so those issues that are based on past experiences are going to now cause me to do one or two things it's going to cause me to do something or to not do something and in either case i could be creating a lot of harm see because there's things that i should be doing that i might not be doing based on an idea and a concept right that's you know, sometimes the things we don't do are even more harmful to us than the things we do do. See, so I want you to follow me here. And, and, and then it could cause me to take an action that can really, you know, that could have long lasting effects based on what I say. Based on what I do to someone else. And so that that itself is which sets in, in, into place trains of, uh, of of emotions and actions that just listen. Um, the, the the effects are endless. We go on and on affecting people, and at some point in time. They retaliate back to us, on us, from things that we did to them in the past. And we don't even know, we don't, you know, we don't even know why because we don't even see from which it came. So, so, so it's very, you know, delusional thinking, delusional thinking means that I can't see the truth. I could, I could be being honest, you know, honesty and the truth is two different things. I could be honest and not be telling the truth. I can, you know, because honesty is my perception of the truth you know you know people say you know that guy is very honest that person is is very honest they they tell you like it is well okay that's nice but that doesn't mean that that person's truthful see because truth comes from a place of inner insight Inner insight requires wisdom. And wisdom is given by God. I get wisdom from God. And God lives deep down within me. So if I'm getting wisdom from God, that means I'm connected to my inner self. My inner, my inner self is rooted, is deeply rooted. But if I'm not connected to my inner self because there's things that are going on inside of me that's blocking me and cutting me off from being true to to, to myself. That's why, you know, in ancient Kemet, which is Egypt, our people called it Kemet, you know, or or Kibulan at a certain time. it, It depends. But the whole point is. They 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 chiseled away on the top of some of the temples 
know thyself. You know, it kind of it kind of rings with to thy own self be true. Love of oneself. The only way I can the only way I can love myself is that I'm connected to what my inner essence is and I'm operating in the spirit of what my purpose is. And and operating in that spirit is going to I'm going to be operating in a in a truth in a inward deeply rooted truth that will prevent me from having delusional thinking for too long because delusional thinking there's a lot of the root of the delusional thinking is fear cuz I'm fe- I'm afraid to face the truth but there's a lot of branches to that tree of delusional thinking. The, you know, delusional thinking is, is also in me thinking that I can change someone because I might have an inward need for people to change for me to be okay with me. See? It's it's real sick and it's real sneaky. If you treat me a certain way or if you act a certain way with me, then I'll be okay. So I don't need others to be a certain way so that I could be okay. Because if my peace and happiness is is reliant upon other people's actions towards me and how they respond or interact to me, then I'm effed. I'm effed. Because... People are not going to do what I want them to do. People are people. People are entitled to their own experiences. You know, and it's delusional for me to think that I can change somebody. You know, even in trying to help, I got to understand my levels of powerlessness, my, my levels of powerlessness that's there. Even in me being a servant of God, I don't determine the outcome of whether somebody grows spiritually or or steps over or is able to leap the leap over the bounds of obstacles that are there for them even if i see the obstacles you know if you tell somebody there's a wall there they're going to run harder into it it's better it's better off you not tell them that the wall is there and just let them run into the wall. They won't run as hard. In most cases. You know, delusional thinking is 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 also that me thinking that if I be a certain way, that I can affect the outcome of my relationships with other people. Because this whole thing is about relationships. Delusional thinking is rooted. In relationships. Rooted. Everything we're going to touch on. Is about relationships. My relationship with me. My relationship with people around me. My relationship with my community. My relationship with God. My relationships at work. It goes on and on. So. You know. Yeah, you know, I've tried all kinds of ways to get people to accept me. Tried all kinds of ways. You know, it might be somebody you like, you you know, when you're growing up. And, 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 you know, somebody that you're dating, you want them to accept you a certain way. So so you you, you wear certain clothes and you act a certain way around them. Then you find that that ain't good enough. 
or you didn't get the necessary the necessary reaction in different situations that you were looking for based on what you think you were bringing to the table trying to play trying to play checkers and chess emotionally and mentally with people if i do this maybe he'll do this and then if i do that he he'll, he'll probably do this or she'll do that based on if i do this because she or he seems to be this type of person they seem to be that type. They seem to be this type. So if I do this, because last time I was with a type like that, I did this, and then they did that, and then I messed up and did this. So that, that, that caused them to do that, and that's how I lost the relationship. So, you know, this time I'll do it different. I'll do that instead of this, and then, and then you know, it still doesn't work because it just, you know, it just goes on and on, that, to this, to this, to that. You know, because now, you know, then I become the, 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 the general that's fighting the last war. I'm bringing all of these past experiences into new experiences. And that, and that counts even even with, 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 with business, with the workplace, at the job. I mean, some people that can't hold down jobs. So every job they go to, they, they you know, they act in. You're acting one way with the new boss based on your last experiences with your old bosses. It's your new co-workers based on your last experience with your old co- co-workers. Delusional thinking. I'm not allowing myself to have a new experience. I'm not allowing myself to be vulnerable because, you know, you know, breaking news. Breaking news is okay to be vulnerable. If you live this thing called life, you're going to get hurt. But people can can't only people can only hurt you really, but so much. And everybody, you know, the thing is, everybody wants to win all the time. That's the problem. Everybody wants to win. It's all about winning. How can I make sure that I win? That I come out on top in this situation. So you at this new workplace. You know, you're feeling everybody out, you're looking, you're, 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 you're canvassing the terrain, you're seeing what you can get away with, with the boss or what you can't get away with. I go through this all the time. I go through this all the time. I'm telling you. Go through this. I'm a boss, I'm an owner. And I just watch the train of thinkers and I watch the train of thinking and I watch people ambush themselves based on delusional thinking. You ever sit down and talk with somebody about maybe some 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 events that transpired and and, and you just listen to them because as as an owner I've learned that I have to be a great listener. I got to listen. It's more important that I listen when I'm talking to them when we're having conversations. It's more important that I listen. You know, I give a lot of orders and I give orders, but I also need to listen. Because if you if you listen, whenever something happens, you listen, like, you know, what happened between two of the coworkers or between you and them or, or, or whatever it is, they, and let them explain why they did what they did. Delusion. Delusion. And I'd be sitting there like, wow, they got this whole thing wrong. You know, because the first the first problem is you're trying to figure out what you think I was thinking. And whenever I do that, I'm in trouble. Lesson let 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 lesson number one be please don't base a decision and do something based on what you think somebody else is thinking. That's like, you know, we, 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 we learn that from football. They tell you, you know, to believe what you see, you know, on defense. You know, just believe, believe what you see and respond to what you're seeing. Don't try to think what you think they're going to do. And some of the worst coaches are coaches who try to anticipate what they think the other team is thinking. You know, and think themselves right out the game. 
fail to execute on their game plan. Because they're trying to think what they think the other coaches think is so then they make a decision based on what they think they're thinking. I mean, goodness gracious. And people do that. People do that with each other. I think they're thinking this, so I'm going to do this, you know, because they're probably going to do this, so let me do it in advance. Because everybody wants to come out on the, on, the, on the winning end. Nobody wants to ever be the so-called loser. And in most situations, you're not losing. Let things play out. Allow yourself to be vulnerable. Allow yourself to be vulnerable. It's okay. God got you. It's not going to be that bad. Because most times, it's a boogie monster. I'm telling you, the boogie monster got more power on this planet than anybody, than the devil. The devil, the, the, you know, the devil, the devil need to go to the boogie monster for some lessons. Now, I'm not trying to be funny. You know, because it's this boogie monster that looms over people. And it causes people to think delusionally. And, 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 and delusional thinking is rooted in fear. And people who have a fear of losing something that they have or not getting something that they want or being hurt. So, you know, you got a bunch of delusional people out there and having conflicts with each other based on one big delusion. Both people wrong. He did this to me. She said this about me. She did this. She was going to do that. And I know And she told this one this and this one said to her this. And he said, and I can't believe he. And it's big. It's big nowadays with guys. Oh, man. The brothers are worse than women now. I'm telling you, I got so many people that, that that's not talking to me. You know, people stop talking to me over. I don't understand what was going on, with brothers. It must be something new in the air. It must be global warming. I think global warming is messing up brothers' minds. Brothers are sensitive nowadays, and it's ridiculous. I mean, I mean, you know, come on. I hear some of the reasons, you know, that, that, that brothers aren't talking to me. It's all based in delusion. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. Just being me. And, and so... Delusion on top of delusion, and we're going to wrap this up because this is just the first part. We're going to do we're going to do part two tomorrow. But delusion on top of delusion. Instincts and collision. The basis of shooting, cussing, fussing and fighting. The basis of it. We got people colliding emotionally, mentally. Physically, spiritually, financially, companies, warring because nobody wants, doesn't want to lose. Everybody want to be on top. Small businesses trying to pull each other down. We're going we're gonna to get into that. Later on, we're going to cover that. You know, crabs in the barrel. While, while Wall Street makes out. People not wanting to work together. Delusional thinking. I mean, we all, you know, we all scraping and scratching and clawing. People don't want to come together. They rather hate on you. See? 
you know, based on delusional thinking, not understand that, you know, that, that, that when we come together, there's more families, families delusional. We can get into the family component of the delusional family aspect. You know, everybody running off to their own corners. We, 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 we you know, we got a lot to cover. In, in, in this series of delusional thinking. We're going to touch on a lot. And in, in, in the next series, we're going to talk about the family structure, the black family structure. The last, the last institution. The last standing in institution. That's going to be the next series. So I want you guys to look out. Thanks for listening. Uh, you know, please go off in, in peace and just try. I want to. I want to leave you this with this. Try, just taking it easy and relaxing, inwardly and mentally. And, and give yourself the next three days. I'm going to give you all an assignment for three days. I want you to just sit back. And let the events of the next three days just just play out. That's it. Just let them play out. Don't make any rash decisions. And watch what happens. You're going to notice that you spend a lot of unnecessary energy trying to, to change things that's not necessary for you to change. Because they're exactly the way they're supposed to be. Just give your mind three days off and accept the next three days of how they're supposed to be and see what happens. Thank you for listening to the Brother Malik Experience. Peace and blessings.